Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to tie a tie using a full Windsor knot. And I'm going to keep it as short and sweet as possible. First you're going to want to pop your collar up because it'll make it a lot easier to get the tie around your neck and work with it. All right. Then you're going to grab your tie and you're going to hold it up with the seams facing down. Okay, Seams to the ground basically. You're going to take that tie just like that and wrap it around your neck. And if you did it properly, the pretty side or the front of the tie should be facing out. Okay? Then what you're going to do is grab the narrow side about three to four inches from the end. Okay? Then you're going to take the wide side and cross it over the narrow side where you have your fingers, the three or four inches from the end. Wide side gets crossed over the narrow side, just like that. Wide side on top. Okay? To form an X. Then you're going to get the wide side and you're going to sort of hook it underneath and out the loop to make it come out on the same side. So if you take a look, the wide side is right over here and I'm going to hook it from behind through the loop to make it come out the same side. Okay? I'm going to pull a little bit on it just to make sure that it's tight. Then you're going to take that wide side and you're going to send it to the other side behind the little knot that you just created. So you're going to take it, send it behind the knot you created to the other side. If you've done this properly, the seam side or the back of the tie should be facing out. <clears throat> All right, then what you're going to do is take the wide side and hook it through the front, from the front through the loop to make it come out the same side. So if you take a look, it's on this side right here. You're going to take the wide portion through the front, through the loop, out the same side. And once again, you're just going to make sure that the knot is nice and tight. Give it a little tug, you know, and make it well balanced, okay? If you've done it properly, once again, the seamed side should be facing out, okay? You're going to take the wide side and you're going to basically send it over through the front, over the front of the tie to the other side, but keep your fingers over the knot to sort of form a little bridge from basically where you are about to send the wide side. So take the wide side, send it to the other side using your fingers to form a bridge. All right? Just like that. And then you're going to take the wide side and you're going to send it through the loop right over here, basically from the back. So I'm going to take the wide side while keeping my fingers there, send it, whoops, send it through the loop from the back just like that. And then you're going to take that same wide side and you're going to sort of make it dive down through that little where you had your hand, uh, where you had your fingers, that bridge. You're going to make it dive down through that little hole right there. And you're going to give it a nice tug. Give it quite a good tug to straighten everything out. Then what you're going to do is you are going to flip your collar down. You're going to hold on the narrow piece right over here like the little narrow piece that's sticking out and you're going to pull up on the knot and what that will do is it will tighten the tie so once again hold that narrow piece and pull up on the knot and that will basically pull it up towards uh, the top of your shirt you know where the top of your neck is I guess the middle of your neck and then take the narrow side and tuck it in there's usually a strap on the back of your tie tuck it in there or tuck it into your shirt basically whatever works better tuck it in hide it away make any final adjustments and you're good to go and that is how you tie a tie with a full Windsor knot thanks for watching